We are in Yushalmi Peah, Daf Mem Vav, in the Ozahar print. And we are in the fifth parak, the fourth Mishnah, or what's called here is Halacha 4. We've talked about many times why in Mishnah we call it the Mishnah, Mishnah Aleph, Mishnah Beis, and in here we call it Halacha. There's a certain focus on what the Gemara is trying to do is to bring down Halachas and really expand. So this is a very famous Mishnah, and it's brought down in Shulchan Aruch. Let's just read it. So, Balabayas Shalya over Makam you had someone who was traveling, and normally he had money and he wasn't able to take, obviously, Tzedakah. But Vitsarach Lital Leka Chekho Peo he had to take Leka Chekho Peo Masarani. So, what happens? So, he told he could take it, and according to the Tanakama, Kishakozer Yachsar Lebeso, when he goes home, Yishalim, he has to repay it. Different Rebel Yazar. These are the words of Rebel Yazar. Hacham say no, Ani Hayaba Osar Shah, and therefore, since he was poor at that moment, he doesn't have to repay it. He, he, was, he was an Ani at that moment. So the Archa Shulchan in Yardea, which is where it's brought down, um, Reish, Reish Nun Gimel, Sivkatan Yudalaf. So he says, based on the Grub, that this allowance is only when you can't borrow. Obviously, if you had a way to borrow money, then you have no right to just take from Staka. Um, there are some Mepharshim that disagree with that, and they say that you don't have to borrow. If you didn't have it, you didn't have it. Obviously, nowadays, where people have credit cards and you know access to cash, this would not be true unless there was some desperate situation where he literally had no access at all. But we pass like a Chachamim, which is that if he was ani at that exact moment when he took it, he's allowed. And uh, the Rama brings it down to the spot in the The Rama quotes this, etc., etc. Um, the Bavli in Chulin says a similar thing on Kuf Lamed Amun Beis, that um, there's no Midas Chasidus even to repay it later. It's just, it, he, it was his, he was allowed to take it. But, like we know from the last mission in Peah, there's an attitude about not taking money that, that you don't need, which means that if a person needs to support his family and has an emergency situation, of course he should take charity immediately, and he should never ever be from on someone else's cheshman. But there's an attitude that someone that is in a more difficult situation and pushes himself to find a resource so Hashem will bless him. T- take a look at the last mission of Peah. And, of course, somebody that pretends to be in need and isn't really in need um, should not. I was discussing this with my father based on my last mission as well, a similar idea where let's say you're in a room and people are complaining that they're not feeling well and then they say well how are you feeling and then you say to them oh i feel great so on one hand it's not respectful but the other hand you don't want to lie and just say oh you know you know you don't want to make up if something's hurting you because that's, that's a dangerous thing so he was suggesting that maybe there's something you could say you know i've, I've felt better before which is definitely true but you're not complaining about anything directly and you're also not going in their face a person has to be careful we know that um the famous words for magic are Abracadabra, which is based on a Gemara in Shabbos, which is Adabra, right? Avra Kedabara. I will create with my words, or words create a reality. You have to be very, very careful. Um, and in this Mishnah, there's a certain carefulness that Lamai said this guy is really has money, but he just doesn't have access to it at this moment. So that's why Rebel Yezer is so strict with him and says, okay, we have to pay it back when you get home. Because even learning in the Gra and the Archa Shulchan, it's kind of like you're borrowing the money now. But the Chacham say, no, no. At that exact moment, he was an Ani. And therefore, he doesn't have to repay it. But a person has to be really careful. Uh, when it comes to financial things and when it comes to integrity, that's something that we definitely want to um, maintain at all times. And like I said, we have a bracha when it comes to money of someone that's careful. So Hashem will bless him. There's also a bracha of the Mishnah Abbas that somebody who's Mekayim Torah may only, even though it's hard and doesn't understand that he doesn't, uh, it's not, it's not, it doesn't come easy for him, but so full of Kaim of Osher, eventually he'll also be Mekayim of Osher. We should all be Zoka to that. What a, what a beautiful bracha that we all want.